Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Summer is just kicking in in Canada and instead of doing informational video indoor, I decided to do informational video outdoor and that way you'll be able to uh, see uh, different views every time I do these videos uh, if situation permits to stay in outdoor. Today I'll talk about American Express removing a minimum income requirement now before i do that i'd like to mention that uh, the information uh, provided or the opinions expressed in this video are my own personal opinion and they do not reflect those of american express or any credit card companies or anyone else's these opinions are based on my own analysis and in reality uh, the credit card companies uh, may pursue these policies and procedures to accomplish different objectives so i would like to start uh, mentioning that uh, the american express just recently removed uh, minimum income requirement for all their credit cards starting a low end to high end and uh, whether this is a good thing or this is a bad thing and uh, comparing uh, the minimum income requirement for American Express and other uh, credit cards. So first I'd like to start uh, with uh, the minimum income requirement for high-end credit cards such as uh, Visa and MasterCard. So the high-end credit card, uh, cards for Visa, uh, they're called, uh, there are two different types. One is called Visa Infinite and the other one is called uh, Visa Infinite Privilege. The minimum income requirement for a Visa Infinite credit card is uh, $60,000 personal or $120,000 household and the minimum income requirement for Visa Infinite Privilege is uh, $200 uh, both uh, personal and household uh, income. Now the MasterCard uh, calls its uh, Elite Card uh, MasterCard uh, World Elite and the minimum income requirement for this card is even higher uh, which is uh, $80,000 uh, personal uh, minimum income or $150,000 household minimum income. Now uh, this is my uh, take that these uh, credit cards such as Visa and MasterCard they implement a uh, higher minimum income requirement uh, due to the fact that they do not want everyone to have these cards uh, because whenever a merchant is uh, accepting uh, higher end cards uh, they pay more uh, fees to these credit card companies and uh, due to the fact that they are paying more on high-end cards uh, it is fair for the credit card uh, the merchants to have those customers uh, paying uh, or buying more with more annual income uh, so in that way they can balance the higher uh, merchant fees uh, paying to these credit cards because then uh, it is uh, the assumption is that uh, uh, people who have higher annual incomes will be spending more on uh, merchants than uh, lower annual incomes so that justifies somehow that uh, higher uh, merchant fees uh, with higher annual income individuals because it will uh, balance out uh, the higher fees uh, because they're buying more products now my opinion is that i do not uh, think always that's the case uh, always higher annual income people uh, buy or spend more on credit cards than uh, who have lower annual income so i don't think it it happens all the time uh, although you know the credit card companies are trying to limit the people holding the uh, credit cards uh, with higher an annual income to balance out the fees but I think in reality that's not the case and 
the reason American Express is eliminating or removing minimum uh, income requirement from all its credit cards this is my assumption or this is my take that uh, they want to catch or absorb the market share uh, from uh, Visa and MasterCard and uh, because if there is no man annual income requirement then more people will be able to apply for uh, any credit cards including high-end American Express credit cards such as uh, American Express Gold or American Express Platinum card because there are a lot of people who may not uh, be able to uh, meet the higher income requirements however they would spend more on these cards uh, even with those have higher incomes so that's uh, one uh, logic i believe american express is looking at and then another uh, part american express is relying on that the fact uh, they're trying to get the market share from uh, young people for example people who are in university or in college or who are just starting out uh, in the workforce and they do not have higher income requirement however uh, by removing the higher uh, minimum income requirement if American Express can uh, get these people they can make them sign up for American Express credit cards then these uh, customers will be loyal to American Express uh, for lifelong and whenever uh, their income uh, is exceeding the higher income threshold they will be still loyal to American Express and still will be using uh, American Express for the years to come so basically American Express is trying to uh, get more market share from Visa and MasterCard number one some people will not be able to meet the higher annual income requirement for Visa and Master so they're trying to get uh, get those people and the second group of people they're uh, putting a higher emphasis is that the one who are still young and going to college and universities uh, because these people will be spending more and more as they go through the higher levels in the workforce and that's the part they're trying to catch uh, these people earlier than Visa and MasterCard so in terms of business I believe that this is a good step uh, they're just not looking at the present they are looking at the future and I believe Visa and MasterCard will lose a important segment of market share to American Express if they keep uh, restricting their higher end cars to only for those with higher income uh, who those who meet higher income requirements so we'll see what happens in uh, later years so whether Visa and MasterCard they take more actions or they remove uh, some of these uh, minimum income requirements to uh, fight American Express or it is possible that American Express will be catching or absorbing more market share and Visa and MasterCard will not be doing anything uh, in this uh, higher minimum annual income requirement uh, scenario uh, thank you for watching the video uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos to come uh, so keep an eye and uh, if situation permits or if uh, weather permits then informational video i'll try to do it uh, outdoor uh, instead of uh, sitting uh, indoor and doing it uh, closed environment and this way uh, it's both uh, have that natural feeling and you'll be able to see some uh, scenic uh, views or some uh, views in uh, toronto uh, this video is done uh, by the lake uh, or by the marina in downtown toronto canada and i'll be able to i'll bring you more uh, places like this in the future when i do my next videos thank you for watching and have a good time bye